All right, hello everybody. Um, the title of this video, you've probably already seen it. It is a uh, super Spider-Man joke I made up. So <laughs> really, um, that's what's going to be going on here is me telling this joke I made up myself. But um, first of all, I just want to say I got in a great workout a little while ago, just finished. Um, it's almost 2 a.m. in the morning on Tuesday. And um, I've been keeping up with my new thing uh, with the workouts that is... Uh, getting in all my time on work days or adding the extra new time into my long workouts on my days off anyway. So Monday was a day off. Uh, but anyway, so here's the joke. So I made this up myself. Um, you know, Spider-Man, right? And, you know, I really shouldn't tell this joke because it, uh, it kind of relies on, you know, something unoriginal, which is not something I made up. You know, Spider-Man is something that's from the Marvel comics and, you know, they got their own copyright stuff, but I just assume that <laughs> they won't really care that much about this little joke. They probably, you know, I don't know. So anyway, um, <laughs> just a joke I made up, right? So you all know Spider-Man. He goes, he's Peter Parker. He's like, he has a, has a double life. So, you know, um, when he's, uh, when he's his own, his normal life, in his own normal human life, he's Peter Parker, the newspaper reporter and uh, young guy, you know, and then. He's Spider-Man when he puts on the costume and he goes out and he swings around with his webbing from tall skyscrapers, you know, that are made of concrete and steel. Well, anyway, so one night he's out swinging around, doing his thing, fighting crime or whatever, looking for supervillains, whatever he does. And uh, he, you know, he's shooting his webs and swinging from skyscraper to skyscraper over this big city. And a storm is brewing off in the distance, a big storm, a thunderstorm. And it's getting closer, and he's still going about his business being Spider-Man and doing his Spider-Man stuff. And all of a sudden, lightning strikes right near him, and it hits this skyscraper. And it doesn't strike him, so it doesn't kill him, but it, it hits this building right near him. And the, and the sparks just kind of like bounce off onto him. And um, he gets really, really shocked bad. And in fact, he's like, he just totally loses it. And he's like tumbling through the air end over end. And he's falling down stories and stories, you know, in the open air down towards the streets below. But somehow, even though he's just totally shocked, he's totally stunned. He, uh, he somehow, you know, shoots out some more webbing and he saves himself from being hurt by falling blow. And he gets himself down to the ground. And he is really, really, um, he's just really shaken up. He's just really, really shaken. And I mean, he's like, wow. And so, um, so this, uh, this shock, it actually did something to him. And so after the shock, he wasn't just uh, Spider-Man anymore. He was now Super Spider-Man. But the way he was super was this shock, this electrical shock from the lightning strike, this lightning bolt, it made him smarter. So that was his new superpower was he was, he was super smart. He was super intelligent. So he was just like Spider-Man as before. And then Peter Parker with his double life but he was also super smart now. So he was thinking, you know, because, you know, he's super smart. Now he's thinking to himself, <laughs> you know, I don't want to be just Peter Parker, the newspaper reporter anymore. I just feel way too smart for that now. And uh, so he's thinking to himself, like, what do I want to do, man? I'm so smart, you know. Um, why don't I, like, become, like, a, a, like a super um, physicist, mathematician, you know, get, like, a double PhD and go work at NASA and just really do something great for society and advancement and, you know, space travel, the whole thing, right? And he's really thinking about that. He's really just feeling this pull. It's almost involuntary, like, I've got to do this, you know. But he thinks about it some more, and he thinks, you know, I mean, I don't really have much of an education. And for me to do this, I would have to go back to school and, you know, get that double PhD in mathematics and physics and everything. And it would just take a lot of time. And I'm just not really into that right now. It's just not really my Spider-Man thing. But I got another idea. So he said, you know, so he says to himself, why don't I go join the CIA, you know, because I'm super smart and I know how to get in. You know, I can just get in somehow, work my way in. So he goes and he takes all these tests and passes all these tests and, you know, gets his application right. He gets all his whatever he needs, references, you know, background checks and everything. And he beats the system. He gets in. He's in the CIA, you know. And as smart as he was, though, once he was in the CIA, the people working in the CIA as a group, as a whole, they were on to him. They knew he was Super Spider-Man, you know, and they, they led this double park as, you know, Sp Peter Parker now in the CIA, but he's he's Super Spider-Man. They knew about him, so they were on to him. And uh, so <laughs> then uh, he basically, like, um, 
you know, he was going about his business, you know, being um, like Super Spider-Man and Peter Parker and the CIA and all this. But um, these people in the CIA, particularly the higher-ups, they were talking about him. You know, there was, everybody was calling him Super Spider-Man behind his back, you know. And some of the higher-ups, you know, they didn't like that, really. They said, you know, why should he have some really hot-shot title, some long title like that? I mean, he's one of us, right? We don't need to be calling him this big, long name, Super Spider-Man. I mean, come on, let's get for real, right? So they were kind of getting PO'd, right? So what do you think? They, they were finally talking to themselves. Let's let's shorten his name. Let's do something, right? So what do you think they finally did? Well, they shortened his name to Spy Man. <laughs> I guess they put a Y in there instead of the I, and they just took everything else off. So that's my joke. That's the punchline. I made it all up myself. But um, in my next video, which is going to come out probably knowing me early Saturday morning after midnight, I'll give you an update on how this week will have gone. And I hope you enjoy the video when it comes. And I, um, gosh, this was a longer video, but it, it is the Super Spider-Man joke that I made up all by myself. So um, hope you all enjoyed the joke. You're having a great time. My workout's going well. And um, I'll be back with another video. And thanks a lot for tuning in. Have a super great time, everybody. Thanks a lot.